based on Prosper and, and uh, um, Spartan studies, uh, which use um, apalutamide and enzalutamide um, in M0 CRPC, I do think that the, the trend is towards earlier and earlier use of these drugs in patients with progressive prostate cancer. So we started with drugs like enzalutamide and abiraterone in post-chemotherapy CRPC, and at each point that it's moved, been moved earlier, for example in stampede and latitude, abiraterone given to newly diagnosed metastatic prostate cancer has a much bigger benefit. So I think we're going to see the same thing in M0 CRPC. Drugs like apalutamide and enzalutamide seem to have a very significant benefit in metastasis resurvival. But at GU ASCO this year, we had a really thoughtful presentation um, uh, discussing these two studies by Phil Kantoff, and he did point out that there were some concerns about earlier use of these drugs, including some of the toxicity concerns and long-term exposure to these drugs. So I think while we're really excited about this MFS um, benefit that we saw, in both studies. Uh, I think that we still have to really uh, do some due diligence to understand what the long-term toxicities are. But I do think apalutamide and enzalutamide in the M0 CRPC setting will start to transform the way we treat patients with M0 CRPC.